right. Today, we're making bacon. Not us, literally, the butcher will. Luckily, the sun is coming up and I'm getting off work as it goes when you work night shift. And my day has only just begun. So <laughs> it's gonna be long, but I have my, uh, I got my fuel here. We'll make it, we'll make it through. We'll muddle through one way or another together. Um, but what's going on today and what you're gonna see in this video is we are taking our pigs. If you've been following along, you know that me, my buddy Colin, my buddy Kevin, went in on four pigs together. Uh, one of which we are going to keep for breeding purposes. The other three we are butchering. And that butchering is occurring today. Now, we're not doing it ourselves this year. We're taking it to a place that my buddy Kevin really likes. So we're just gonna one and done it, load them up, take them there today. It's about 45 minutes to an hour drive from where we're at to this place. Sometimes it's nice to pay a professional to do something because they are the professionals. Um, they waste not a single bit of it and you know that it's all done right. Only downside is you gotta pay for that, but hey, uh, I'm all about keeping a, uh, a small business up and running by paying for their expertise and their skills. Obviously, we're not gonna show the the butcher slaughtering them or anything like that. And I don't know how, I don't know what kind of footage we'll be able to get there, but um, just, uh, Hang tight, enjoy the ride. Pulling up to Collins right now. Get ready to see some pigs. Is that even gonna? I don't think this is gonna work. Ooh. Well, we're back in the truck again. Uh, you won't believe what is happening to us right now. So, since my buddy Kevin couldn't come, he's the one that loaned us the trailer to take these pigs away to the butcher. And when he dropped it off at Colin's house, he apparently put the padlock on the trailer. So now we can't link it up to the truck because the lock's on it. And he, he can't come here today to bring us the key. So. We don't have any bolt cutters and Colin can't find his skill saw. So now I'm having to run down the road to my dad's and borrow his bolt cutters or a grinding wheel for us to get this lock off. And we are on a time crunch. So um, yeah, today is going just fabulous <laughs> as, as things go, you know? Um, <laughs> who would've thunk it? I just got to my dad's, picked up this massive grinder he had to grind off that master lock. And as soon as I get in my truck with it in my hand, Colin calls me and tells me he found his sawzall and he's already cut the lock off. With so now I gave the grinder back to my dad and I'm on the way back over there. Whew. Wow, what a uh, <laughs> what a good day to not sleep. This is great. How do I get in? Yeah. Oh, right. What up, pigs? Spots. Spots, come here. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Come on. Come on. Stay. Come on. Jeez, not no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Spots. Come on. 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 No, no. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Hey, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yeah, come on, yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, not you, not you. Oh, okay. This. It's not working out. Well, we, the issue is trying to separate her. I know. We can easily get them all on. We'll get them all on. We can maybe use this across here and then just funnel her out and then yeah. flip yeah. the gate real quick. All right, I'll go get more food. All right. Big, 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 big. Yep, go on up. We'll deal with spots in a second. So we did the 
three biggest pigs were the ones it was uh you know two males and a female that we took to the butcher so each each one of us three will get a pig's worth of meat his family will have plenty to eat my family and kevin's family will all have plenty to eat for a long while which is uh with the food shortages apparently going to happen again or whatever here coming soon uh it's probably a good thing that we're going to have freezers full of pork and then there was one hey don't play in it <laughs> sounds like she's scuba diving or something she's bubbling up are you having fun yep yep now we're just playing Blowing bubbles. <laughs> Funny. Nim, nim, nim. She looks good. Yeah, she does. Let me see if I can get a. She's not foaming at the mouth like she was. Yeah, she was all worked up earlier. Don't eat my camera. Spots, as you see in the video, she is the one that we are keeping. Going to live her best life there and be bred and all that good stuff. So, uh, just an observation of these pigs versus the pigs Kevin raised last year. It seems that if you were on a small couple acre homestead or so, you might be more inclined to lean towards a like a Cooney Cooney variety, something that's more of a grazer, uh, more even tempered, easier to manage. Um, he just wanted to try this breed this time because he felt that the Cooney Cooney gave a lot more fat. Um, I don't know if that's because it's the breed or if it was the feeding regimen and what type of feed was being fed towards the beginning and end of his life or whatever, I don't know. Uh, by no means an expert in that, uh, just an expert in cooking them, you know. <laughs> just my two cents, it seems like Cooney Coonies are a better pig if you don't want everything getting torn to shreds. And four large pigs of this breed are a lot to handle without some really well set up structures to keep them in place because they do not care about electric fence they did initially a little bit but then once they got big enough they did not care if you use the netting it might work better than just strands i don't i don't know it was a tough tough rough go so um, just something to think about if you're looking into getting into the pig game I, uh, we did not really have time to film anything at the butchers and I didn't really you know I don't like filming people at their place of business kind of thing unless I know they're okay with it and whatnot so yeah that's how that went you yeah, know it's all gonna be worth it really excited to uh, get get the freezers full up in about a week or so um, he'll have it all ready gotta get these rabbits raised and bred got some chickens we gotta order to raise and butcher stay tuned thanks so much for checking it all out like and subscribe i do dearly appreciate it and i hope everyone's doing well and staying safe thanks